Okay, Gray Gang, I got two things of bad news, and neither one of them is good. I guess that's sort of what bad news is. But anyways, first bad news, well, we didn't kill any squirrels at the river, and it is the next day, but we are gonna try to kill some more squirrels up here on the ridge, which is where I originally said I didn't wanna hunt. But next to the second part of bad news, remember how we was trapping for a coon, you know, going to a raccoon catch and cook? Well, it seems like I caught a coon, guys. But he's not here anymore. He stole the trap. And I mean, I'm just gonna tell you what, guys, that doesn't... I don't understand that because I had like, like a, a little homemade rig to where I cabled it into this tree with three 30 seconds cable. Strong enough to hold even the biggest coyote. But somehow, like a coon broke it. I don't even understand. I mean, he didn't pull out the trap. He didn't break the trap. Didn't break the trap chain. He just straight up broke the cable that went around the tree. Now, you can see, you know, where he's wallered it out a little bit. But you can see over here how he didn't even ruffle those leaves at all. So, he probably broke it fairly decently quick. I mean... Uh, okay guys, I just now found this out, but I was looking over here at the tree, and I was gonna say, look how, you know, you can see he climbed the tree, and then, you know, I look, and he kept climbing, and he kept climbing, and bro, there's a raccoon hanging from the tree! Like, I'm so sorry, raccoon, but I honestly don't know how to get you down right now. And that's honestly a shame, because I will say one thing. I checked this trap, um, yesterday, and, you know, it's gone. So I was like, oh, dang, my trap's gone. Something stole it. I'll come back tomorrow, which is right now, and I'll tell y'all about it, how, you know, a coon stole my trap. Which means, and like I've said, it's been pretty high temperatures here in Kentucky. So even though we did finally find the raccoon... It, we can't eat the meat because it's been so hot outside. And that just makes me so mad, guys. We can't eat the raccoon because the meat is spoiled. But I guess it's a good thing I didn't lose my trap. I guess that is a good thing. And that my cable didn't break. My cable didn't break. I just don't understand how that happened, guys. And I also don't understand how am I going to get him down. And, um, uh, I don't know what to do right now. I do not know what to do. I mean, I don't know if this is the prettiest sight to you guys. It's probably going to get demonetized, but I'm just going to say I'm going to show it for probably like the next 20 seconds. So if you don't want to see a coon hanging from a tree, don't watch these next few seconds. But anyways, guys, here it is. It's a raccoon hanging from a tree. Like, I know that's not cool, but, like, it's sort of interesting because this has never happened to me before. But, like, I know out in the trapping community, whenever you stake it up in trees, a lot of times you'll come back and, you know, the coon will actually be up here. Never did I ever think that they'd go to the main top of a tree. But he did, bro. I'm sorry. Now, I know, guys, as a trapper, that is the last thing we want to see. But, unfortunately, things like that do happen. It is 100% a freak accident that was never intended to happen by nobody. Like, this right here, that's awesome one of the things that will happen once in a lifetime sort of maybe hopefully hopefully for sure but i will say there is one thing now even though the meat isn't you know gonna be edible the fur still is because the fur as y'all know like fur can last a really long time so what we're gonna do is even though a bad situation just happened even though something that we never wanted to happen ever in our lifetime happened we're still gonna look at the bright side we're still gonna look at the positive things and we're still gonna utilize its fur this is by no means a wasted animal we're just gonna take him down i don't know how we're probably gonna have to cut the tree down but that is a good tree to take down i will say that bad memories all around one i got bit by a possum there and two you know we had a very bad accident right here accident in the woods that may be the title of this video i'm not sure but anyways guys i'll tell you what i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna go on home i'm gonna get an axe and we're gonna try to cut down that tree that way we can at least skin it out use the fur have something good out of this day because just because one bad thing as in that coon right there happened to us today that does not mean that it's gonna be a bad day guys there's no day that should ever be a bad day just because one bad thing happened let's go find an axe people we're gonna be cutting down a tree okay guys so i brought him back up also known as my dad and he'd rung the chainsaw but he said how small this tree is i can probably just climb it and you know pull the tree down so that's what we're gonna do I guess here you go I'm going to try my best not to get the coon to fall on me but here we go guys. Okay, Dad, you can go home. What do you think? You should have used the harness. Probably. I do gotta say, the fall that the coon made wasn't the best, 
but he was already dead, guys. He didn't feel a thing. How high is that? 12, 14 feet. Um, I thought he was like 40. But, well, there he is. I mean, guys, I don't know how well you can see that, but at least we can say this was a really old coon. Because his teeth right here, they're really, really, really wore down. So that lets us know that at least this was an old coon. At least he wasn't, you know, one of the newer generations. But as you can see, his pelt right here, it's still fine. We can still use the skin and, you know, possibly make us some sandals out of it. Or something cool like that, you know? Maybe a coon skin cap or something. He's got a good story he's got a really good story behind him he doesn't really smell the best but i guess that's just part of the deal sort of expected a little bit but tell you what guys we're gonna take him out of here we're not gonna waste that animal nothing should be wasted even though we ain't gonna eat this guy like mamie wanted to we're still gonna use him we're still gonna put him to use i'm out of breath because i just climbed a tree maybe we can use his fur for sandals or some moccasins or cowboy boots or something like that okay great gang so i know that some y'all aren't gonna like to hear this but unfortunately i'm not gonna skin this guy on camera i'm gonna do that off camera you know just keep it safe and everything keep everybody happy because some people they don't want to necessarily see that but don't worry guys i'm still gonna use it and here's a little segment you know right now i'm sort of just you know cutting into the video I'm, i was gonna show you like this is the coon this is about you know what it's gonna look like this isn't the exact coon that you know we caught today but this is actually a coon that one of you guys the gray gangsters sent in in fan mail i just wanted to show y'all this is what it's going to look like once i get done with it. it'll have the head the body and the tail all attached and you know on the inside there won't be any meat mine won't necessarily be like this mine will be what's called k skin whenever i get done with my coon it won't be split open like this but this is basically the end result this right here this fur right here has been tanned which means you can actually play with it and you know it's not stiff or anything i just figured i'd come down here and show y'all what the end result is gonna look like even though i'm not gonna get to show you what that exact coon you know looks like after i get done but once the whole thing is done this right here this is basically what it'll look like but anyways, back to you, future Kendall. And so that right there is what this coon right here is going to look like after I get done with him. But I'm just going to come at y'all real quick with just a little uh, wise words from Kendall. I mean, I'm not that wise, but I do have a little bit. And I'm going to share it with you. Number one, guys, life is what you make it. Now, was us coming up, finding a coon up in the top of a tree, was that best case scenario? No, guys, not at all. But was it worst case scenario? No, it wasn't. But just because something is happening and it's not best case scenario, like it's not amazingly perfect, that does not mean that it's a bad thing. Whatever your mind thinks about something that's how it's going to be so if you go in there and say man that that's something bad that ain't good today's gonna be a bad day you're gonna have a bad day if you go in and say well i understand that this isn't the best case scenario this isn't the best thing ever but it's definitely not the worst thing ever if you go in every day no matter what happens having that mindset you're gonna live that much happier because just like today mine and mammy's plan was as soon as we caught a coon we's gonna eat it that was the main thing we wanted with the coon and then boom we caught a coon but as soon as i walked up on him i realized that man we can't eat that coon he's just he's not eating right now now is that a good thing well it's not a good thing but i'll tell you it can definitely be worse he could be a possum just kidding guys no hate towards possums possums are pretty cool but anyways guys let's show this coon right here some love he didn't have the best day ever so um uh yeah let's show him some love like hit the like button guys he needs it and uh just go through your week right here i know this is monday's video just go through this entire week just remembering that life is what you make it if you look at the positives you're going to live a positive life if you point out the negatives and pick out everything that's not perfect it's not going to be that fun guys so just go out be happy with what you do have and me and old coon over here well he's about to go into the knife and we're about to you know gain some resources oh wait 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 no i almost forgot like there's no outros anymore that's one thing that's coming after 200k the outro's gone and because of that we're not stopped doing the favorite squad favorite squad just got that much favorite or better today's favorite squad winner is eli Cossins, which amazingly enough he straight up predicted what today's video was about good job man good job eli and then for favorite squad i usually do too so the next one goes to ethan leopard right there so if you're not familiar with what favorite squad is what it is is it's you guys the gray game all you gotta do is go down under the video put a positive and encouraging comment and if i like it hey you guys may be in the next video those comments right there they were from last video so next video it could be you if you get chosen if you're not subscribed already you can click this thing right here and then if you haven't watched my last video which was actually on saturday click this video right here because you know that's the video but anyways guys i'll see you thursday bye bye buddy